but there's no amount of begging that can help him. Just like out here in NYC, homeless people be having their hands out for money and receiving a dap up. Good luck, my nigga. That's not funny, bro. That's not funny, man. Because Van Helsing is the queen. She's determined to go out there and kill Dracula herself because it's her family's job and she's the only one left to do it. But he can't let her do that, so he hit her with some of Bill Cosby's secret stuff, knocking her out. Bro, why the hell you just hit her with some Diddy Mist, bro? Dog? <laughs> what the hell is that Diddy Mist he just did, bro? What? Bro. Call me you see the stupid title, bro. If you hear the wind when I try to speak, my bad, bit though. It's hot as hell over here, so I got this bitch at open wind. Why did I curse? I don't know, bro. I got the window open, bro. No, it's time to get into it, man. Uh. Uh, I, can't, I don't really like these coming soon. So I did just get to the video, man. You know, I'm a big fan of werewolves and vampires, that fantasy stuff. I love Teen Wolf. Shout out Void Styles, the GOAT. If you know, you know. I've seen Vampire Diaries, but none of them ever quite did werewolves the justice that Van Helsing did. So let's get to it. Oh! The year is 1887 in Transylvania, and they're going to Dr. Frankenstein trying to jump him. Man! <laughs> what did he do to make the is that mad because he grave robbed in order to make that chopped monster and i get the anger that's messed up i'm on the will and i did not consent to him giving that creature my grandpa's dick we see count drag what huh bro bro that just came out of nowhere why out of all things that big dog Man, y'all boys too free. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Y'all boys, I be saying that out for me. I say whatever I want or whatever. I don't care what other people think, but nah, man. Y'all need to chill out, man, dog. What do you mean, man? Killer show up and he's like, yeah, man, appreciate you for making that monster, but I need him for my plan, bro, bro. Did the doctor dirty. Dr. Frankenstein is obviously not okay with this. Look at the way he's massaging the ugly thing. Dudes be like, nah, my girl the baddest. Dracula starts <laughs> pressing him, so Dr. Frankenstein calls out like, Yo, Igor, help me! But he had no intention to go over there and help, bro. He just started yelling bad advice. If niggas about to jump you, act like a bad bitch. Stop playing with me before I fuck around and pepper spray you. How you gonna jump a nigga and eat a whole city girl? Frankenstein whips out a sword and holds it to Dracula's heart. I'm and God! He isn't phased at all. Couldn't be any less worried. So much so that he literally stabs himself through the heart just to flex that he can't be messed with. More disrespectful than Goku when he knows he's stronger than you. <laughs> but while this is happening, Frankenstein's monster frees himself from the restraints, and when Dracula walks over, he's shook to see the monsters missing. And he's just standing over there thinking, I want to find the monster. But before he could react, we see Frankenstein's monster lifting a lab beam and throwing it at Dracula into the fire. Frankenstein's monster then grabs his father and with the mob at the doorstep, dips out of there towards the hill. Nigga walking like the penguin, he not finna make it far. Especially when this man Igor has fully committed to switching sides. He screams out Frankenstein so that the mob could turn around and then dips out of frame like a damn cartoon character. Frankenstein's monster manages to make his way to a tower, mob behind him looking like a Spongebob scene with them pitchforks and torches. Thing is, he went into a fully wooden building while they chased- Oh, brother, this goofball. Bro, oh, you literally just- <sighs> him with torches. Clearly in the grave robbing, Frankenstein gave him the brain of Peter Griffin, cause this is dumb. He probably pronounced equivalent like Kevin Garnett and lackadaisical like Zion. Here we Big dog, is it rainy? In this big day, come on, man. Go, kinda like, name an NFL equivalent for each NBA player. He kinda went into the game too, like a Zegas will Nigga Zion look like he could <laughs> trying to say that shit. They then begin to bombard it with torches, getting in contact with the alcohol, causing a giant explosion. And at the same time that all of this madness is happening, Dracula comes out the fire healing himself, showing that despite him being a vampire, it seems that he is not weak to fire. This is unbelievable. Hey. More unbelievable than Rod Wave saying he finna hit the gym for her. Come 
This is unbelievable. More unbelievable than Rod. Spend a M or two. Might hit a gym. Bro, stop lying, bro. Oh, brother. When a nigga starts to press record, I always got to be disturbed, man. Hold on. Let me hear this bit, bro. Come on, my nigga. Like, fucking hell, man. Oh, the noise filter, it does, like, filter out the, like, the rain noise. But, like, come on, bro. If it increases, it's going to sound doo-doo, boy. <sighs> bro. Ain't do nothing, man. What are you trying to make some motherfucking money? Always disturbed by shit. Wave saying he finna hit the gym for her. Come on. I ran. <laughs> Even the title of the song is I ran. Come on, oh, nigga, bro. You are not that in love. We then strictly with the use of shadows see Dracula transform into a monster while Frankenstein's monster gets to the top of a fan tower. He's so ugly, he got people in the oh crowd fainting God. at the sight of him. Same time, Dracula and his three vampire brides <laughs> start coming through. Remember, he needs Frankenstein's monster for his plan, and that's how they only refer to it as my big plan, never providing any details. I'm going to restore my clan and destroy a certain someone. Okay, mysterious ass nigga. They send the entire mob scrambling out of there as Frankenstein's monster goes falling down into the flames from on top of the tower. And when Dracula and his three wives arrive, they're in straight tears because now they can't fulfill their plan. One year later in Paris now, we see our main character Van Helsing as a wanted man, but only for two bands? What is he, a serial turnstile jumper? Motherfuckers be fake demons. He hears a, a serial turnstile jumper? Motherfuckers be fake demons he hears a woman screaming and arrives finding her dead but looks over and sees a figure disappear to the churches laughing he goes inside of it walking around and is greeted by dr jekyll and mr hyde a man with split personas half man half beast turns out that the wolverine in this bitch doing side quests as a monster hunter and mr <laughs> hyde has 14 counts of murder to women for the children, Damn. two counts of arson and kidnapping, Damn. as well as dealing in a controlled substance or listed chemical. Damn. His ass is getting hit with a RICO case. IP bro lawyer too? Yeah, he catching life. Until Mr. Hyde decides he ain't going to smack the Van Helsing back and managing to make him miss all his shots, looking like Clay Thompson out there. He gets up and only to see Mr. Hyde swinging in towards him like an ape, so he whips out these spinning blades. No matter what the movie is, my boy is always just going to be addicted to stabbing his opponents. Mr. Hyde runs in for a bear hug and gets sliced twice, catching Steve from a huge bell, leaving him in a lot of pain. Copy my whole fucking flow! Oh, word for shit. word, bar for bar! Screaming out, holding his head and covering his ears like someone put on a Kai Sinat stream. Luckily for Mr. Hyde, he's able to snap to his senses and recalibrate fast enough to grab the bell and trap Van Helsing in it before he can stab him again. It's he's noticing quiet. that it's a little too quiet too under quiet. there, so he lifts it up to see a hole in the floor. Mm, this bug nice. bunny ass method of escaping. Are you? What's up, Doc? It turns out though that Van Helsing was actually in the bell itself, cutting off Mr. Hyde's arm while he watches it disintegrate into diamond. Oh, okay, now that's smart right there, right? That is Jeff tough place. This is literally what happened to Dr. Connors the lizard once that antidote hit i don't know who's uglier man at least they both look better than chris middleton mr hyde is <laughs> that antidote hit i don't know who's uglier man at least they both look better than chris middleton bro y'all stay cooking the nba players bro middleton. mr hyde is for real upset now running over to van helsing grabbing him spinning him and throwing him through the roof and i don't know why but for some reason mr hyde starts feeling himself because he starts acting like he just hit a wwe finishing move to the crowd hate to break it to you, man but nobody out here rooting for you tubs especially when you got your whole ass cheeks out come on man dude put that thing away ah! you're like children here he then grabs van helsing <laughs> and hovers him over a church on a thousand foot drop gonna need to hunt for new knees after this fall but he made the silly mistake of not understanding who he was dealing with this is supernatural folklore batman because he gets thrown off and while falling is able to shoot off his grappling gun through mr hyde's stomach but luckily he got that big strong penguin build some villains hunt people some hunt money but he wants to control all of gotham's snacks the grappler goes completely through him, but he's able to hold back against it, allowing for Van Helsing to swing himself to safety. But Mr. Hyde's still hitting that smooth criminal on the edge, and we see him realize he's in an extremely vulnerable position right now. Oh no! Oh no! 
but there's no amount of begging that can help him. Just like out here in NYC, homeless people be having their hands out for money and receiving a dap up. Good luck, my nigga. That's not funny, bro. That's not funny, man. Because Van Helsing is not killing him, but he's just a little too heavy, reversing it, grabbing the cord, and pulling it. Which naturally, as you'd expect, makes Van Helsing start go flying up. But I swear you can't even make this up. His dumbass is running without looking where he's going. He trips off the roof, falling into the church, and swings on the cord like Tarzan through the church stained glass. That's so crazy. And as if that wasn't bad luck or instant karma or whatever you want to call it enough. Van Helsing lands perfectly safe while Mr. Hyde turns into Dr. Jekyll at the absolute worst time possible. Bro down there looking like some soup and Van Helsing hits us with the hardest wallpaper of all time. Three days later. So Van Helsing is a monster hunter and this guy right here is essentially his contractor who tells Van Helsing that his job is from God to vanquish these monsters. Van Helsing asks him why can't God do it for himself? Ain't nobody got time for that. His next assignment is count. I, I can I can't laugh at that one, bro. Oh, bro, why did go, oh, bro? Dracula in Transylvania. And for context, Van Helsing has already been cursed with losing his memory. Nigga clearly lost his barber phone number too. The Valerius family that defends Transylvania from <laughs> vampires for centuries is cooked because the father has gone missing and the kids Velkin and Anna may be next. He's got to go help them. But Van Helsing stopped listening to everything bro said as soon as the daughter popped up on screen. He about to start licking the paper. Yeah, that brother's starving. <laughs> so he gets his garlic, holy water, a dagger, and a cross, ready and heads out to hunt some vampires with Carl. We then transition to Transylvania with Velkin Valerius using himself as bait to catch a werewolf. The same type of tactic Dr. Strange used on Thanos to get his ass jumped. Hopefully this works out better though, because that resulted in my nigga getting his chain snatched and Tony getting pet. You're a good kid, Stark. The werewolf then jumps out at Velkin, but he uses his upper body strength flipping out the way. He grabs onto a rope and is dangling in the air, and whoever the werewolf is clearly must be a white guy, because the hops just ain't it. Unfortunately though, the trap starts to malfunction. So Anna seeing this runs in there to help her brother with the werewolf knowing this is a free meal on a platter. But these are professionals, so we shouldn't question their tactics. Would you question Elon Musk's dick riding skills? So the world goes after her, but their plan worked, right like it was supposed to. Oh. But I'm gonna have to take back the credit I just gave them. Why? Because the next move they do is so dumb. They cut the rope to make the pulley pull the trap up, but it's going straight towards Velkin. His homies do not fuck with him. I'm crying. I got fake people showing fake love to me. Luckily, though, he's able to jump into a tree, and man, they wasted absolutely no time. They all start unloading the clip into the werewolf, but unfortunately, the rope isn't strong enough. So it rips, and while Anna is running from oh, the brother, running, her pathway is blocked. She just narrowly avoids death. But hey, now, unlike R. Kelly, the werewolf is free. Is this a is, is this a real photo or is this? <laughs> oh, this RK. I thought it was PD. Like, damn, this man already got bodyguard or something. <laughs> and just like R. Kelly, it's definitely an issue for everybody. So everyone dips out, and he specifically chooses to go for Anna. She must have curved his human form or something. Hmm. Hit him with that. I want to, but I'm sorry, I can't give you my phone number. A whale actually swallowed my phone yesterday. These excuses getting crazier and crazier. Just say he looked like Jay Z, bro. But ultimately, she's at the edge of the cliff and she's looking cooked. But Velkin steps in and saves her, landing a silver bullet. She gets Weave. knocked down, and when she gets up, there's no sign of the werewolf or her brother. Oh, anymore. brother, he could have weaved that shit, man. The dad missing, which isn't surprising. Bro, that would have been tough. He could have weaved that shit, bro. Saves her, landing a silver ah, bullet. She weave. gets knocked down. And when she gets up, there's no sign of the werewolf or her brother anywhere. <sighs> so with the dad missing, which isn't surprising, dads being dads, and now the brother dead, she's the only oh, one in her family to protect Transylvania on some Avatar shit. Wonder if she gonna rock the Jada Pinkett like Aang too. Mm. So Van Helsing and Carl get to Transylvania and they get straight to work. Not even a day to settle in and check out the area. Oh shoot, they got an in and out in this bitch. Nothing. They instantly start getting pressed, and Anna enters like Patrick Starr in the Spongebob movie. <laughs> he explains that they're here to help. And they not trying to hear it. She talking about, we don't need your help. What? Bro, look at huh? your town. Why are you lying? Kowalski, you know how to fly this thing? Of course, sir. 
And the same exact time she's saying that Dracula's three vampire brides start coming through and Van Helsing starts letting it fly. Unfortunately, he's chucking up bricks, not landing a single hit on the vampires. No. Oh my goodness, Valentine! No, Whoa, no. no, no! That is not the shot! No. He must have been trained by Hawkeye's slow cousin, Pigeon Eye or something, because this is <laughs> bad work. Everyone's scrambling for their lives, and while he's still bricking, a vampire swoops over, knocking him and Anna to the ground. No matter the movie, Hugh Jackman always trying to be sexy all the damn time, even in the midst of a damn apocalypse. But unfortunately for them, their oddly timed romantic moment gets interrupted by the current threat. Cause Anna gets snagged up into the air by a vampire, but luckily Van Helsing is able to grab onto her legs and pull her back down to safety. Madness is ensuing everywhere, and a bride goes for him just in time. He's able to dodge her, and damn, bro, what the cow do? Damn, what the fuck the cow do? Bro, pet up dead on there, get on her ass, man. What the? But they then turn chasing after Anna while Van Helsing is spraying at them, as she avoids death. But unfortunately, bro, right here, don't even got a name in this. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> hey, man, that's karma for you, bro. The goofball was trying to help y'all, and y'all was trying to kill him, or I don't know what the hell y'all was trying to do, so that's karma right there for him, man. Script, so you know it was over for him. <sighs> but luckily, at the most perfect time, the sun comes out, and they all vanish. But just in case, they start checking around, going over to the well, just as the sun starts coming out again, and a bride comes out, snagging Anna again for the second time, third attempt. And it's at this point, they start celebrating, thinking they finally wiped the Valerius family off the map. But Anna goes into her boot and whips out a knife, slices one bride, but gets passed off like an Instagram thought to the other. But Van Helsing hits that Paul George. Ball game. That's though. George. And finally, oh, come on, bro. Don't tell me he missed again. He was needed the most, lands a shot on a vampire, forcing her to drop Anna on the roof. Same time, though, another bride starts coming through, flying towards Van Helsing, which was a mistake because he turned her ass into Swiss cheese as she crashed into the roof. <laughs> He then starts checking the building out and she bursts back out charging into him and knocking him down and his weapon out of his hands. Meanwhile Anna is getting pressed by another bride one on one, getting smacked outside of the house onto the ground and runs away. Damn, I like me some bitch fights. <laughs> Get into a different building where she's already there waiting for her ass and isn't alone this time. They double teaming like this is prime Kevin Der can't get a haircut. Mm. Catches her weak ass punch and then starts preparing her like supper, massaging her neck ready to be bitten. I know bro right here from the comments section. This fight scene alone made me love and appreciate werewolves, vampires, got gothic settings in general. The three werewolves. <laughs> oh yeah, nigga, bro. I announced I'm doing this movie sick right now, seeing Anna catch all this treatment from the brides. It's not fair! Same time the third vampire is out there tossing around Van Helsing like a ragdoll. So disrespectful with it. Cause she flies up laughing at his ass, just a true lover of the game. Hmm. I love the game. I love the hustle, man. She then charges back in towards Van Helsing, who's running towards the holy water fountain. Bro, he don't got like a in. he don't got like a blade on him. Like, bro, as the goofball is charging towards him. Weave and then slice her ass. And Come he on. Just to get there in time up in the blicky right at her. And man, she should have done like how I do with those YNs. Damn, bro, watch out, son. Damn. What'd you say? Man, you heard what the fuck I said, but I got that bitch on me for what you want to do. I got it. I'm you got it, bitch, right. dog. Because she stood absolutely no chance getting sprayed down with holy water, different Damn. arrows, getting thumbtacked to the building, and gets disintegrated down to a skull. The Game Boy CGI mm. makes it even more disgusting to look at. And I guess they must all be connected in some sort of way because at the same time, the other two pressing Anna feel the pain transforming and dipping out. Oh, and now you'd think they'd be appreciative of Van Helsing, but hey, or not, they're gonna be D right here, So, like, nah, you just killed a vampire before they would only take one or two people a month to eat. Now they're gonna kill us for revenge. You fucked it all up. We had a good thing going, bro. Like, it could be like, it could be true. Like they they were only like maybe taking like two people or three people a month. Now yeah, they now because uh one died they could It's like damn bro, it's like but it's at the same time it's like damn bro, you trying to help niggas and niggas are not appreciative or like you trying to help people and then you F up. So it's like man, fuck this thing I'm trying to help niggas, man. <laughs> He sound like one of those niggas who never want to leave prison. Free meals? Don't gotta pay for rent? Sex anytime I want? 
Shit, I'm gonna earn myself life. But she interrupts and states he's the first to kill a vampire in a hundred years. And offers him a drink. But they're still not teammates. She's determined to go out there and kill Dracula herself because it's her family's job and she's the only one left to do it. But he can't let her do that, so he hit her with some of Bill Cosby's secret stuff, knocking her out. Bro, why the hell you just hit her with some Diddy Mist, bro, dog? What the hell is that Diddy Mist he just did, bro? What? Bro. But he can't let her do that, so he hit her with some of Bill Cosby's secret stuff, knocking her out to save herself from herself. Let's go home! Let's go home, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen! Let's go home! Wait, wait, wait. Don't, oh, no. Don't tell me Conor McGregor got the, uh, a situation like that, too, bro. Bro, what is wrong with these goosebumps, bro? Why don't y'all like older women, man? Damn! Bro, leave... Well... Bill Cosby was, uh... I'll pour Molly up in her champagne. She know it. She was, he was doing that. Then Diddy was everywhere. And men. Mostly men. Conor McGregor? I don't know. Meanwhile, Dracula is pissed. How dare they kill one of my hoes? But he had three. This is Kobe Bryant levels of ball hogging. He starts speaking about his scheme again, and they trying to tell him, please don't try to do that plan again. So he shots at them, got them cowering in fear. He clearly got straight Chris Breezy tendencies. We <laughs> also see that he's got a werewolf chained up back there, getting straight tortured, and you won't believe who it is. This nigga Igor is KD, done switch huh? sides completely. So all of Dracula's army dips to Frankenstein's castle to do his plan. Anna eventually wakes up and starts walking around her home hearing noises, hiding behind the corner and jumps out to catch nothing, just a slightly open window. She closes the window but looks down and sees a bunch of wet footprints towards the other room. Oh, no. Looking at these, that can only be one person. Please I know it was you fuck nigga, that. admit it. Something's clearly in here. Bro, why are you do? <laughs> what are you, well, come on bro, leave that little dog that alone man. That can only be one person. Please I know it was you fuck nigga, that. admit it. Bro, come on, bro. Leave that dog alone, bro. Something's clearly in here stalking her. She eventually starts moonwalking backwards until she's able to grab the blicky. And the cameraman really is in his back right now because he catches the creature's POV stalking and This is elite work. Hmm. As she continues on, water is dripping behind her, following her all throughout the house. And once she stops, the creature catches up and it's a brown werewolf as she shoots. You were saying water, bro. That was saliva. His freaky ass. She smartly dips out of there, and as she's running, she bumps into hey, Falcon. Jesus. And I remember seeing this like, damn, the werewolf packed her up already? She in hell with her brother that fast? And yes, I said hell. Their family killed for a living. King Vaughn got a better case than them. Vulcan was about to tell her Dracula's plan, but gets stopped by the perks busting his ass. Dracula's plan really starting to piss me off. This shit is like the Krabby Patty secret formula. He genuinely starts tweaking out as the full moon gets exposed from the clouds Bro. moving. And hey, now there is no more Vulcan. He's becoming a beast, a monster, a werewolf. Blick he him! finally climbs up the wall backwards while she just stands there crying. Shorty, what are you doing? It's really time to go while you got the chance. Oh, that's his brother. Wait, the werewolf bit him? Then he's a... I don't know, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'll probably... Yeah. Probably not a random goofball. I don't, I don't remember. He starts growling and growing fangs and starts ripping off his skin. So hey! Get this shit off me. That's the same thing Michael Jackson thought. And she didn't take her chance to run when she had it. And now... Well, it's too late, because the transformation is complete. He's a werewolf now. Luckily for her, the same time she's just standing there staring, frozen in place, not doing anything, you Van Helsing sprints in, and at the exact same time, he doesn't even get the chance because Vulcan dips out of there instantly. Van wait, 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 wait. Considering that goofball ripped, up his, ripped off his human skin, when he turns back, then what's left? Is he gonna be like bonus or, or looking weird? He goes to the window for a snipe, but there's no use or no hope. He's already crossed the water and goes on his way into the wild somewhere. But Van Helsing goes after him and ends up running into the weirdo from earlier who was hating OD. He says he's out here digging graves and for some reason tries to sneak Van Helsing, but turns into a real respectful young man when the metal is to his face. This is exactly what happened in On My Block. <laughs> this is our block, feel me? They call me a little spooky, I'll blast on your ass. Please. 
Man, get this white boy back home, man. I don't care what side I'm on. <laughs> yeah, man, I had some ducks, and I thought it was the perfect time. Buddy over here ended up digging his own grave. One op is oh, down, but jobs not convenient. The werewolf needs to be put down. All dogs don't go to heaven. This nigga is a demon. He starts snarling at Van Helsing and is about to be blicked, but gets saved by his sister. Bro, whole stain, bro. You can't seem to understand that her brother is gone now, bro. There's nothing you can do for him now. And he ends up saying, oh shit, this nigga not playing and dipping out of there. Van Helsing is tight about what just happened. He can't even pretend to try and contain his rage at the moment. I woke up Chris Bree. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 Big dog. We do not condone gender beast violence over here. Oh, come on, bro. Remove your hands from her from her neck, big dog. Come on. She starts yapping about, I can save him, face ass. I'll find a way. That's my brother. Don't you have any heart? Can't you forgive? And he's not really trying to hear all that. She's chatting. But bro walks away and thought about it for five seconds and was like, hold on, if I help her, she might give me a chance. He said, all right, I'll help you. All that shit you said about fucking, I mean forgiving, I feel that for real, for real. And they tracked the werewolf to Frankenstein's castle. But we know Dracula, his brides, and minions are there already, as well as Vulcan, because the werewolf being tortured earlier was actually him. Dracula can control werewolves past midnight. Van hmm. Helsing and Anna sneak in and this cartoony ass scene. How the fuck she understand them? Bro, huh? I'm really crying. Okay. I'm making a complete butt of myself. They find a giant room full of thousands of saggy ball sacks. Turns out those are Dracula's offspring. And so Dracula is using her brother as a battery who's more likely to live because the werewolf DNA in him rather than a human. He gives his children the ability to live and releases his children out into the world. Dracula oh. and his bride celebrating like they won game seven. She all like, oh, look how cute my darling is. And so they go out to feast on the town together. Which they go out and do. That deal of one human a month clearly off the table, bruh. Liar! <sighs> liar! 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 Meanwhile, in Van Helsing and Dracula's ISO, he stabs Dracula right through the heart, thinking the job was over. But give my man an Oscar for real, because he did all that ah, 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 fake ass screaming just to fuck with Van Helsing. Okay, come on. How is he going to kill him then if it, this doesn't kill him? Cool. It turns out he has no heart to stab through. That ain't gonna work. He not like these other sucker vampires. He then starts talking about how him and Van Helsing have known each other for 400 years. Him obviously having none of his memories hmm? is just like... Who the fuck Who is, the this, fuck is nigga, this nigga, bro? bro? He then tries to use a cross and Dracula grabs it just to show that nothing you have or want to try can work on me. And this is really insane. Can you imagine pulling up on Superman with kryptonite thinking you got him? And this nigga takes a bite of it. Talk about... <laughs> I was about to say the same shit. What do you like? He took that motherfucking rock and started chewing it. <laughs> <laughs> this tasty. While this exchange is going on though, the kids that have been alive for like 5 seconds start popping like balloons everywhere. And we see why they were so against him trying to plan again. They've now had to watch their kids die twice. And this is how I feel with Bruce Wayne's parents. Got the two brides in shambles as they dip back over to tell Dracula what's happened. But that gave Van Helsing all the time he needed to get up out of there. Dracula was a mismatch for him and he knows it. The key to bringing their kids out alive is Frankenstein's monster, but he's dead and he killed the doctor. So they've tried humans and now werewolves, but nothing's working. Especially because this Dr. Doofenshmirtz ass nigga Igor don't know what he's doing. You are not Dr. Frankenstein. They hop on absolutely just in time to be able to avoid Vulcan, who's just finished transforming. But Vulcan wasn't going to let it be that simple for them to escape, of course. So he hops on the court to try and catch up with them, but he ends up snapping it. Unfortunately for him, though, they're still able to Tarzan swing to safety on the other side. And for Vulcan, he receives the same treatment he got way early in the movie as a human. He goes plummeting hundreds of feet into the water for a shower. That was the scariest part of this movie for the Overwatch bros. Yo, these niggas are chopped, bro. <laughs> And this nigga talking about he don't take baths. <laughs> Van Helsing and Anna have gotten away, but while posing for the hardest <laughs> flick of all time, Dracula tells Vulcan to go kill them. But they think shit is all sunshine and rainbows. Him giving her his hat all cute and them having a drink. My boy whipped out a bottle of Unincredible Hulk piss. But to keep things short, they basically end up. Nah, he trying to get her drunk so he can't hit.
Bill Cosby at. Falling into a hole, and in that hole, they discover Frankenstein's monster who's actually still alive. And they fight for a second, but then they realize they're all the good guys here. But Frankenstein's monster being alive means that Dracula really could successfully kill oh, his no. if he finds him. So they try to transfer him in a horse-drawn carriage, but the two brides end up finding them, and the two of them are able to do enough to get the carriage to fall off a broken bridge. So they try to save it, thinking Frankenstein's monster's in there, but it was a trap. Ain't nothing in there, shit more empty than Pretty Boy Fredo's channel in 2024, and it actually has been rigged with a bomb that ends up hitting the ground and going off everywhere, turning another bride into Swiss cheese, killing her, meaning there's only one left now. Turns out there was a second carriage, but that one gets hunted down by Vulcan, and somehow his charging at them and landing has resulted into a fire on the roof of the car. I don't really understand how- uh, I would say like maybe like his, his uh his his uh claws like these scratched against the car the, the carriage and caused fire sparks and fire. I don't know, bro. It is it is possible? I don't. Eh, ah. How that happened? With Frankenstein's strong ass help, they're able to get thrown back on top of the carriage instead of holding onto the sides for dear life. Clearly, Dr. Frankenstein dug up the grave of Wilt Chamberlain for the strength of this monster. He broke a player's toe with a slam dunk, used to lift up cars for them to get tire changes, killed a mountain lion with his bare hands, <laughs> Wilt Chamberlain up there with Bigfoot and a good Venom movie for top 5 shits that never happened. But Vulcan is still very much on that ass, climbing to the top of the car but getting stopped by the fire. But that wasn't ever gonna be completely enough, so everyone decides to jump off. But of course, this is Hugh Jackman in an action movie, so he was never just gonna jump off all simple like. He spins around with his akimbo silver bullets and lets them fly at Vulcan as he dives towards him. Eventually, time passes and Anna finds Vulcan, who is indeed dead now from Van Helsing. Who she gets tied at, but it turns out that he got bit by Vulcan in the exchange. Oh no. Ah, uh, well, he not finna get no coochie then. So he just murdered her brother. Unless she allows him to bite him and then, but he killed his brother. No coochie for this guy. <laughs> and now he's a werewolf and got her backing up like Rowley Jefferson. Don't call me. Don't come by my house. We're done. She's over here not paying attention, being all scared and shook about what just happened. Meanwhile, the bride smacks Damn. her right upside her head and is able to dip out with her before Van Helsing or anyone could do anything to stop her. Dracula made that call to make sure the plan was complete. Bitch, where you at? I'm out here getting your money. So Van Helsing, Carl, and Frankenstein's monster are walking to town when the last bride pulls up on them and says that Dracula is offering a trade. Frankenstein's monster for the girl, and Van Helsing's like, Oh, say less. Hey. I ain't gonna lie to you, big dog. You ain't to. You feed me. <laughs> Frankenstein's monster turned to him like, damn, nigga, you ain't even have to think about it for real. They agreed to meet in a public place at the masquerade ball later. So to skip over a bit, it's the night of the masquerade ball and Dracula's in there dancing with Anna, who's currently under his control, forcing her to give him a kiss. I had to register as a sex offender. Dracula's gonna make her one of his brides, but just in the nick of time, Carl gets him set on fire. And while he's screaming and writhing in pain, Hugh Jackman became a whole different Marvel hero, turning into Spider-Man, swinging in to save her from him. So they is the and Van Helsing wasn't actually gonna give Frankenstein's monster to them, but they found him anyways. And they're running out of time because he's becoming a rabid animal, just like me when I see a picture of my girlfriend. So to sum it up, heading into the final battle, they find Frankenstein's monster, and he tells them that there's a cure to the werewolf DNA. Man, this is some bullshit. Fool this man. No. <laughs> So Anna and Carl find it, but they get interrupted by the last bride. Oh, so, you fucking hell, man. And that bitch ugly in here. Bro. Ah! Bro, close this stupid ass window, man. To melt her face off. Dracula not finna mess with her no more after she looked like fucking Clayface. Mm. Between Carl, Anna, and Frankenstein's monster, who Van Helsing was able to free, they're able to stop her, and now Dracula is completely holeless. Deku can relate. Come on, dog. Six seasons and you couldn't get the girl? Just go gay, bro. But now Dracula is still alive, and he pulls up on Van Helsing so they can run their ISO for the final showdown. And just in time, the clock hits 12 o'clock and it's time for Van Helsing to tweak out. And he does, on his knees screaming like a rock star. Some shit Kevin Gates would do while not having a single song to be doing all this, twinkle, performing Twinkle Twinkle, twinkle Little Star, and shows off the cleanest werewolf form I've ever- You see? 
Or maybe like when you transform, okay, maybe when you transform, the human skin dies because you turn into a werewolf. Then when you re revert back, the skin grows again. Okay, that, that might make sense. Never seen a black werewolf ready to kill. And it's in this exact moment, Dracula starts laughing mad hard, cheesing seeing the transformation. <laughs> Bro starts telling Van Helsing how they should team up. He could give him his memories back for real, but I don't even think he could understand what Dracula's saying right now. More confused than Floyd Mayweather with anything other than a picture book. It's clear that Van Helsing isn't really trying to team up, so Dracula gets prepared to fight, going ugly mode. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Van Helsing jumps in first, grabbing and throwing him against lab equipment while he gets hit with a three-piece combo. The only reason this shit is happening is because Van Helsing has to fight with his eyes closed, or he'll turn into stone from the chopness. Dracula then gets tackled but flies Van Helsing to the other side of the lab, crashing, landing, and throwing him onto the ground. And it doesn't get any better for my goat. He just keep getting more and more exposed. He gets thrown again, kicked in the face, and then for whatever reason decides to try and take off. I don't understand why. Hmm? You up 50 points in the game right now. Who would ever forfeit in that position? I touched the ball before it went out, coach. Shut your brain, man. Van Helsing grabs him by the legs and pulls him down as they crash land and an explosion ensues through the lab. Dracula starts yapping again and Van Helsing is not trying to hear all that, so he starts charging after Dracula again, missing but is able to get his leg. And he continues to fly away, forcing Van Helsing to let- Brother, this rain, man. Hold up. Let go of his leg, and there's really no commentary I could give here. Van Helsing is just giving him the beating of a lifetime. Finally, this man Dracula starts to fight back, but honestly, it didn't last very long at all. Cause his wings getting ripped, bangs him against the wall, getting grabbed and slammed, grabbed again and banged again. He realized fighting back might not be the method, so Dracula goes back to all reliable, dipping out. But Van Helsing isn't letting him, tackling to the ground again, and he gets up, checking behind him. But hold on. God damn, nigga. That cut is atrocious. This movie went- <laughs> My stupid ass is look, bro. But hold on. God damn. My stupid ass is looking over here, buddy. <laughs> he looking damn, here. Nigga. That cut is atrocious. <laughs> This movie went a completely different route than Twilight. They had that nigga Robert Pattinson literally with skin of diamonds shining. Nah, the director was Loki deck riding crazy. Fuck you! Dracula goes for the top railing and literally zaps himself like a dumbass while Van Helsing is good to go. It's clear that this fight is only gonna go one way. Buddy on the ground talking about chill, don't let me die. I got ray gun, ray gun. It's made worse when Van Helsing just starts letting his nuts hang. He's standing there looking all menacing, whips out his claws and scratches it. It's so badass, man. It's over 9,000! 9,000! Van Helsing then climbs up and lands right in front of Dracula as he begins to beg for a truce again. Oh, no! Pretending we... like it wasn't just beef. Okay. Acting like niggas found first in hide I'm and seek. Playing. Now all of a sudden, y'all wasn't even I'm playing. Noticing Tok no Jutsu not finna work, Dracula transforms back trying to fly away but gets pulled back, weave, and starts getting choked out. It's looking like it's over for Dracula at this point, but some of the plot armor needed to be sprinkled in real quick to keep it going. Cause while he's getting choked out, about to be finished, Van Helsing D transforms at the worst. Oh, why bro? Why? Bro, this is the reason why niggas don't be watching movies no more bro, or TV in general. Cause of bullshit, like why is he D transforming? Right, but that ain't no problem. Wolverine versus Dracula? You can still take him. Now if it's the greatest showman, GG is gonna have to try and salsa dance that nigga to death. But he doesn't even try to see if he can. He just gets up out of there ASAP no Rocky. The clouds have covered the moon and it got Dracula cheesing his three brides in hell like Let that nigga know! Dracula starts explaining how he made a deal with the devil to become the first vampire and tells Van Helsing his name is Gabriel. Who? Huh? That goofy name? He's the Archangel Gabriel, the left hand of God, and they fought before. But it doesn't matter, because all that yapping changed nothing. The full moon is back out, and Van Helsing transforms back with Dracula, but lands a fatal bite to his neck. And man, this might be the roughest death to look at in the entire movie. He's really just so disgusting. The way the black blood starts to leak from his body as he begins to disintegrate exponentially to the point where he just ceased to exist. And this is when Anna arrives with the werewolf cure. But while it seems he's distracted, she starts running in to hit him with it, but he grabs her, tackling her onto a chair, 
but at the exact same time she did that, they must have coordinated it together or something because Carl also pulls up and starts charging at Van Helsing with a stake in his hand to try to stab him in the back, which as you'd imagine, of course, does not work. This is not a man designed to be in the field, he's way out of his element right now. Van Helsing stops him before he could get the chance, but when they both look down, she successfully hit him with the werewolf antidote. The bad guy has been vanquished oh. and my boy doesn't have to be cursed being a werewolf any longer. But after he takes it out, we see that Anna is dead. Oh! Damn, this goofo was not finna get no coochie at all for real for real. Damn. The love of his life, dead by his own hands. That's so rough. He looks so Damn. sad, man. It's really heartbreaking. I just want to pet him, tell him, Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? It wasn't your fault. You had no control as he cries out in pain holding her. <laughs> man, they hold that boy, man. Hey, man, I'm gonna see y'all boys, man. This stupid ass read. Call me Mr. Zang, cause I'm a flippy bass. 